Humigit kumulang 6,000 tao ang gumaksa ngayong araw dito sa Loyola Memorial Park, Marikina. Narito ang report. Narito ang report? <laughs> That's right, yeah. Narito ang report. Hey guys, it's Shetka here and welcome back to another Tabaho episode. And today, I'm going to be a TV reporter on ABS-CBN. Honestly, in the list of my dreams when I was a child, TV reporter or news anchor is always there because I just love, you know. But then I just stopped after realizing that there's like this whole process and you should have a really good diction, like you know the voice. And I just realized I don't have that, so yeah. Well, I guess the only thing is it's the language because it's going to be in Filipino. I have to ask questions in Filipino. I have to report in Filipino, right? Yeah, they re really report in Filipino, right? Ah, depending on the show. Yeah, so that's going to be my biggest challenge. I really find it cool, yung mga Filipino anchors and news reporters, the, their voice when they like, na 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 Like, it's really cool. Like, a lot of respect. So, yeah, just excited. I don't know, like, I only know, you know, like in the flights, the voice. Mangyang Tulama. Like that kind of voice. My ano pala? I, they don't even use that kind of word. Yeah, so I don't even know how to, because you know, the, the Filipino I know is very casual, conversational. So this one is going to be like official news Filipino. So I'm going to learn a lot. Yeah. <laughs> today's actually November 1. So today's Undas. That's why we're here at one of the main cemeteries here, which is Loyola Memorial Park. Hey. Hello, hi. Jessica. Po. Hi, Jessica. I'm Adrian. Adrian. Nice Good to meet morning. You. Mabuhay. Mabuhay. So, are you ready to be a reporter for today? Um, <laughs> hindi ko sure. Hindi sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gawin natin sure. Okay. <laughs> well, today is All Saints Day, All Souls Day. So, this is a special day for us, special coverage. Mm -hmm. oh, by the way, this is my crew, Atan and Dan. Hello, Paul. So you guys always move together. Yes. Like this group. Everywhere we go, we're For always together. Yes. My together. cameraman, assistant cameraman. What should I learn first? What should I do? Normally, we go around to yeah. interview people. But of course, we do some research before this. So you just approach people like... <laughs> well, because we have a huge camera, yeah. so sometimes it's intimidating for them. Yeah. Sometimes I just don't talk to them first. Sometimes there are cases like uh, people would approach me ah, and they right. would um, do small talk. So we'll play by ear if they want to be interviewed. But sometimes they don't want to be interviewed and right. we respect that. Um, so after the interview, what um, do you do? I also um, tweet because we also have to provide news for our digital platforms so Twitter X sometimes <laughs> Facebook and Instagram and then we also do live reporting for television and cable television and then I write we write our advisories I will have to tell my desk editor what happened and then after that that's not yet the story um, I will then have to write the main story after that you do this all in just one day yes wow. <laughs> oh my god Kahit anong story. Kahit as long ano, as it's yes. interesting. Okay. And news worthy. Okay, exciting. Ayun ay! May kasama kami ng ano, si Jessica. She's a vlogger. Pwedeng mag-interview kami sa inyo. Okay. So when you do the interview, the camera focuses only on the interview, yeah, it's not on the, the reporter, right? Sometimes um, after the interview, the uh, cameraman would also take shots of us talking with interviewee for the B-roll. Mm -hmm. Nay, um, siguro una muna, kamusta po kayo? Pamamatay lang po ng asawa nyo? Konting nakaka-recover pa lang. Mm, Gano'n kadalas kayong dumadalaw? Kada linggo mula nung namatay siya, kada linggo nandito kami mag-anak. Mm -hmm. Namimiss nyo pa rin siyempre. Is that short? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're done. We're good? So it could be that short. I just take the good sound bites. And also, I already pre interviewed her. Mm, so right. that's why I already know the. Okay. Sound bites. So I just have to be asking in perfect Filipino kasi. I don't want to tag this. Okay, what questions do I want to ask? Okay, so let's see. Kano kada las kayo pumupunta dito? And then I want to ask. Kano kada gas po? Kano kada las po? Kano kada. Kano dili. Gano katalas po kaya pumupunta dito? Okay, I'm gonna go. Hello po! I'm actually a vlogger, but I came here with ABS-CBN for a TV reporter. And I want to ask if you guys are down for a little interview? Miss Tagalog. Tagalog pwede, yeah. Tita, pwede po mag-interview? Follower. Eh. January. January 8th, mag- uh, 
Pasado. Huh? Ano magpasado? Ano ibig sabihin? Passed away. Namatay. Ah. <laughs> yung mao. Namatay. Namatay, yung mao. Sawa mo po? No. Kuya ko. Kuya ko. Ah, kuya mo po. Okay. So, gano'ng kadalas ko kayo pumupunta dito? Every my occasion lang. It's not bad. Yeah. It's actually very similar to my favorite of hearing. But then, much easier. Because favorito is more like the camera goes to them right away, but this one I can just talk to them first. So we have to go back to the crew cab uh, vehicle and then right there. Subscribe lang ako. So it's important that I have the recording in my phone so I don't have to bother my cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> to replay. Yeah. So when you come up with this peep, it's in Philippines. This is in English for our website. Normally, I don't translate the, the sound bites, the quotes. Someone from our office um, do the, the translation. Okay. In English? Yes. Oh. <laughs> it's like one sentence long. Yeah, I'll just get the best quote. So you could actually be writing it right away. If the yeah. Use. In my mind, I already know what the, what the sound mm, bites yeah, will yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for your story, you can also um, transcribe or you want to. Uh, <laughs> or, yeah. But if it's not interesting, you just skip. Yeah, <laughs> there are times like that. It's not that interesting, the interview I got. <laughs> it's not interesting. We yeah. can make it interesting. Interesting? <laughs> not really. Only a teenager. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is it interesting? It depends on what the story is on how that happened. Like if it's a disease, then it's no camera first, just with this from afar. Wait, when you say sino yung dinadalaw? Who are you visiting? Who are you visiting? Okay, wait. Oh wait. They look so sad. Oh wait, I'm so afraid. It's so personal. Like I don't want to offend them. But it's your job. Okay. 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 Hello, Pa. Hello, I'm a one-day reporter from ABS-CBN and oh. I just wanted to ask if I could interview you for a little minute regarding your visit. Yeah. Okay, perfect. First of all, what's your name po? Uh, my name's Anton. Sino po yung uh, dinadalaw? Is he also one of the... Yes, that's my tito. <gasps> How old was he when he... 33. 33. Yeah. Oh, okay. So may I just know, ano po yung ikinamatay niya? Uh, cancer. Oh. I'm so sorry about that. Okay. So this is really challenging. Ah, interesting story, interesting. But I also feel like those whose family member or friend just passed away recently will also not really want to interview, right? Ano po yung pinaka mahirap ng situation dito? Trouble or something hard to manage? Ah, wala naman so far. Ah, wala naman. Sa wala din naman tayong expect na ano. Wala pang history na nagkaroon tayo na. Ah, wala. Very peaceful naman yung pagdiriwang natin dito lang. Ah, very peaceful lang. As we know, Marikina is a so yung mga... peaceful city. This is our product right now here in Loyola, Marikina. Call it Trinity Oshwari. There's still a spot pa within here because you said it's sold out. Yes. Okay, so for me, that's the most interesting so far. The prices and uh, because I don't know. But I don't think anyone knows. I don't just think it's worth the story. So how long have you been doing this? Since 2000? 2000? Yes, year 2000. <laughs> so even before I was born, you were doing this? Yeah. What made you decide? Ever since, I really wanted to be a reporter. I would read Filipino newspapers out loud as if I'm a reporter. Or what was the process like? Do you need like a college degree or like... Well, here in the Philippines, our college degree is mass communication. But there are some who are nurses, a pilot. So from different Yeah, majors. from different majors because you have to know a lot about different world. things. Yeah. Is there a reporter who's just a high school grad? Not sure. Is it required by the college degree? Yeah, most companies would require college degrees. So what are the different roles in the newsroom? I have the field team. It's just uh, me, my cameraman, and the assistant cameraman. But there are also office people, our editors, desk editors, who oversee our authorities, our advisories. And then there are also video editors, of course, our bosses. The one who decides where we will have to go, which stories to cover, which stories to air. I think 50, 50 people inside the newsroom. So how do you fact check stories and like balance the accuracy and then, you know, the speed? 
Um, we have to do it in a few hours. We have to read a lot because sometimes there's no time to fact check a story. It's really a lot of top knowledge that we use in our jobs. What if you tweeted something wrong? Have you ever done that? Hmm. Sometimes there are grammatical mistakes. Thankfully, I haven't tweeted something that's wrong. What happens if you do that? Of course, we have to say sorry if there is a grave mistake committed. You delete the tweet and then you um, say sorry afterwards. That's what I've seen. If you're gonna report something political, mm -hmm. like you're scared. Sometimes it can be um, dangerous because we're covering politicians. Yeah. And politicians have enemies. And sometimes if you're covering a politician and if there's a shootout, you might not be spared. <laughs> it's really a risk. What was like the most unforgettable story that you covered? Well, top of my head, the recent elections uh, we covered because it was really tough. Disasters. Earthquake, uh, we were in Ilocos Sur after the uh, magnitude, I think it was 5, 5.8. It was an aftershock and while running out of the building, we took shots and interviewed people. Oh my god. Uh, we had to stay because we had to report the aftershocks. Right. When do you rest? Whenever we can. <laughs> For example, during this coverage, if there's a 30-minute break, we take a nap. We sleep inside our vehicle. But on weekends, I have a radio program, studio anchoring. So you don't really rest? Yeah. <laughs> Property agency which sells lots and uh... Alright guys, so I have the Tagalog version of the spiel. My team obviously helped me. <laughs> so I'm gonna practice. Kumigit kumulang anim na libong tao ang dumagsa ngayon umaga dito sa Loyola Memorial Marikina. Oh my god, one sentence is so long! <laughs> In Tagalog, parang it's long, even if it's a short sentence, you know that's why. Kumigit kum... Okay, again? Kumigit? Kumigit kumulang? Kumigit kumulang anim na libong or libong? Approved daw? Ang bait na libong! Approved? It's approved! Maybe he just doesn't care. <laughs> bukot? Is it bukot? Bukot. So that's the hard part of the film, the, the intonations. And I feel like reporter is a job where those intonations really, really matter. Matatakuan. 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 Ay nasa anim na pung libong piso na. Is that intonation, okay? <laughs> At saka Mona, anong pangalan niya? Anong pangalan niya? Mona, okay. You know, Filipino is really hard, I really have to say. It's really hard. Mike Enriquez, at former Marikina Mayor Bayani. For... <laughs> yeah, pure Tagalog, yeah. It's because of intramuros. Right, the plaza you see right over here in front of you is the Plaza de Roma. But its old name used to be Plaza Mayor. So guys, it's the reporting time. He's gonna report. And again, I'm not allowed. <laughs> so I'm just gonna watch because I still have to do my spears. They're doing it at even rain or time. Come by. Spending 9,700 ang mga individual ngayon na nasa loob ng Loyola Memorial Park dito sa Marikina City. Yan ay ayon sa Marikina City Police. Kahit kumulat ngayon ay patuloy pa rin ang pagdating ng mga tao dito. At dito nga sa aming uh, gilid lang dito ay yan. At dito pa rin ang mga tindahan ng uh, mga kulaklak. Uh, yung uh, presyo ng kanilang uh, mga kulaklak yan ay nag-reach mula 100 hanggang mga 800 pesos. Mahigpit pa rin pinagbabawal sa mga pumapasok sa loob ng sementeryo yung pagdadala ng posporo. Pati mga alagang aso ay bawal na bawal. At yan muna ang huling pangyayari mula dito sa Loyola Memorial Park sa Marikina City. Ito yan ay yung PBS CBN. Wow! Okay? Perfect! So good! So good. So that's the 20 years of experience. It doesn't come from one day or two days. It comes from experience. One goal. Wow. In the rain. You're amazing! Ready? Anytime. Tumigit tumulang anim na libong tao ang dumaksa ngayong araw dito sa Loyola Memorial Park. Narito ang report. Was it weird? No! Narito na lang, narito. Narito. 
Narito ang report. Yeah, but it's good. Yeah. It's okay. One more. Umigit kumulang. Ah! Umigit kumulang anin na libong tao ang dumaksa. Ay. One last, one last. Marikina, Loyola, Loyola, Marikina Park. Sa Loyola Memorial Park, Marikina. Narito ang report. Good, 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 good. Good take, good take, good take, good take, good take, good take. Good take. Ay, 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 ay. Sa ngayon, nasa dalawang daang ta... Ah, libo! Libo na ang dilang na... Oh my God! And former Marikina... Ma and former Mar... And former Marikina Mayor... <laughs> ang bil... Nasa dalawang do... It's so hard! Sa dalawang... Daang, 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 daang. One last one. Ilan sa mga... Ah! Oh my God, this is so hard! I cannot never be a Filipino TV reporter. It was kind of like my dream. Oh. I think panic attack is coming right now. <laughs> Ilan sa mga ito ang mga... It's like a rap! <laughs> Jessica Lee, patron ng Pinas. A Filipino! <laughs> Kumigit kumulang anin na libong tao ang dumaksa ngayong araw dito sa Loyola Memorial Park, Marikina. Narito ang report. Bukod sa mga taong dumadalaw sa kanilang mga mahal sa buhay, matatagpuan din dito ang mga property agents tulad ni Carol Luna, isa sa sales directors ng Memorial Park. Ayon sa kanya, ang dating 10,000 presyo ng lote noong 2013 ay nasa 60,000 piso na. Sa ngayon, nasa 200,000 na ang bilang nakahimlay dito. Ilan sa mga ito ang mga kilalang personalidad, Tulad nila Francis M, Mike Enriquez, at former Marikina Mayor Bayani Fernandez. Jessica Lee, patrol ng Pilipino. <laughs> Just like my latest trabaho tour guide, this is also a kind of job that really relies on the personal ability. The ability of the individual. I don't have any experience, again, that's why it was too hard for me. Too hard, but it was really fun. I really appreciated the whole experience. I really think that news reporter, that kind of job is something that has to be even highlighted more than, let's say, YouTubers. You know, you have this responsibility of really releasing the right news, right? No fake news. Of course, I have that already as a content creator, but I can imagine how much more strict that is in the old media world. And then also, they really need to know a lot of things. They have to do script writing, they have to do research, they have to actually report verbally in front of camera, they have to edit, like so many jobs. It's really a job that has to be respected a lot and looked up to a lot, I feel like, because the responsibility is real. So obviously, the first thing has to be uh, the language. Like today, I really felt that my Filipino sucked so much. I know you guys tell me my Filipino improved over time, but I really felt today because today I really needed to use like formal language. Even when I was interviewing people, I really noticed myself like just not knowing how to speak in proper Tagalog. So I was a bit mad at myself for that. It kind of really motivated me a lot. And also for the actual spiel, even if it didn't really air, obviously. It's just a lot of pressure because, you know, just it's hard to stand in front of camera and talk like this, you know? And then if it's a new spa, I just had so much pressure. I kind of had a panic attack, almost. Like my mind was empty all of a sudden, like, oh my God. Yeah, and also the pressure, if the content you prepare is also bad, it could be bad, right? Then that means you have to make extra effort to make your story interesting, your report interesting. So that's another extra effort that you have to show, which is again, really tiring, yeah. I love the job. It's really kind of me kind of job, the whole process, because I'm interested in different stories, obviously. So if I spoke full, fluent Tagalog, I really think I would even really go for this job. Wow. Yeah. But it's too tiring. Though. Like you have to just always outside walking. Yeah, no vacation, no regular resting days. That's also hard. I feel like this is a kind of job that also gets fueled by like your passion to this job, like more than the money and whatever it's really you have so much passion that's why you can keep doing it like our senior reporter very hard yeah and i was also really starstruck a lot you know to witness the whole process like the, the angle that they were showing of like the other interviewees i'm like oh that's abc and news <laughs> it's just fun to be on the spot and witnessing how it's actually done it's a very interesting episode for me i learned a lot and yeah guys in next trabajo, I'm going to be back with an actual job that I could actually do, maybe. Because <laughs> it's also raining today, so that's another hardship added into this job. I hope you guys enjoyed today's trabajo episode, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!
You look like a waiting reporter. <laughs> sir, sir, excuse me, sir. Sir, excuse me. What are your thoughts on...